I'm Louise and today I'm joined by Andrew from Logitech G. Hello. And we're going to be talking about wireless misconceptions. But first of all, if you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and you'll never miss a video from us again. But wireless misconceptions, what do people think about wireless and what is the truth about wireless? So this has been quite a conversation over the past three or four years. Um, you know, about that time ago, you'd be basically laughed out of a, a LAN or any situation if you were using, say, a wireless mouse or headset, um, because a lot of people believe that there's inherent latency, connectivity issues, battery life, all these things. And um, those are really the three main problems that we've been trying to tackle here at Logitech G. So um, we've created a bunch of amazing technologies that have really crushed those conceptions about wireless and the problems that they were creating before. For. And now we've created a robust ecosystem of Lightspeed wireless products that really provide an incredible experience. So Lightspeed, let's talk about that. What, what is Lightspeed and why does it take away all these issues? So that's a great question. Um, and I think a lot of people get hung up on this idea of one millisecond, right? That's not the overall latency of the connection. That's simply the, the polling rate. That's actually what USB does as a standard, right? It's the cadence in which the USB bus is willing to accept new information from your mouse. So the idea is to get your signal there as soon as possible so it doesn't miss that one millisecond bus, right? Okay. We have worked very hard to optimize the entire pipeline of the connection, the MCU that actually processes clicks and turns them into ones and zeroses, and then sends that off to that USB bus. So because we've optimized that entire pipeline for both wired and wireless products, our wireless Lightspeed mice keyboards are actually a lot faster than the competition's wired version because of that optimization. Well, that's something as well that obviously eSports professionals, they're using wireless pros, right? So it's got to be perfect for them. What kind of things went into thinking about it specifically for the pros? So one of the things that we find is people want more control. They want more consistency. And actually, wireless does offer that because, um, you know, you've seen pros for years and years use things like mouse bungees, right? That keeps the cable off the ground, it keeps it off your mouse pad, it keeps it from dragging. However, it's still connected, and so there's still an um, somewhat unpredictable connection to that, that tether that's holding you back. So a wireless mouse is actually a much more precise input device than a wired one. So what we wanted to do is make sure that we could provide technologies that would create the best possible experience with that wireless mouse. So Lightspeed, our Hero Sensor, and then PowerPlay combined for this ultimate wireless experience that has zero compromise. So in terms of eSports, didn't you actually invent a mouse specifically for the pros? Yes, we did. It's called the Pro Wireless. Um, and that's a really amazing product because we work directly with pro players to not only design um, the actual shape and the experience, but we also worked with them directly to make sure that it was exactly what they wanted as far as the experience goes. Because of that, they ended up wanting us to give it to them before it was even out. So um, we had a ton of pro players that were using it uh, in tournaments, practice, and actually in lands. Um, the London Spitfire team won the last year's Overwatch League Finals using the Pro Wireless before it even came out. So that was a pretty fantastic Seeing thing. Seeing it in action, that was absolute proof. Yes. No problems, no exactly. latency, that's not a thing. <laughs> yep. So in terms of power play, let's talk a little bit about that because obviously people really like wireless, that's great, but inevitably wireless leads to wired when things need charged, right? So let's talk a bit about power play. Sure. So power play is one of those amazing products that comes around once in a while that not only is super cool, but it also provides a fantastic experience. Um, if you're one of those people that didn't have a problem with the latency or connectivity or weight or any of those things, but just didn't want to think about plugging in their mouse, we now have a solution that charges your mouse indefinitely. It also has a very smart charging and decharging algorithm. So um, the lithium polymer batteries we use in our wireless mice, they don't like to be at 100% all the time. So it actually charges and then lets it decharge a little bit to provide that cycle for the battery. So if people have any reservations around wireless, what's the one thing that you tell them to make sure that they know that it's not a problem? Well, you know, I know there's a lot of people out there that believe that the earth is flat. So if you're one of those people, I guess you could still use a wired mouse. But um, if you want to be part of 2019 in the modern world, I suggest you just try it. There's a lot of great products out there for everybody that have Lightspeed Wireless. So just try one, you won't go back. Amazing, yeah. thank you very much, Andrew. Of course. So that's everything you need to know about Logitech G's wireless offerings. If you've got any questions for Andrew, please pop them in the comments below and we'll get him to answer them. Drop us a like if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to Logitech G for more videos just like this one. And if you do already subscribe, which we really, really appreciate, don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you know when our next video lands.